Hey class, it's Professor Obsatz. It is so nice to be chatting with you. Um, so today I am gonna show you uh, some tips and tricks for how to maximize your grade on the uh, final project for Media 10, the Media Artifact Assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. All right, so you should see the, um, you should see right uh, and depending on your class, it may look a little different, but there's a whole module with resources for your media artifact. Uh, uh, presentation, so I recommend that you skim through everything in the module first before you start working um, just so that you get a really good sense of what i'm looking for uh, for this project. If you're using your phone uh, or a tablet and using the Canvas app, when you are in the class, you always want to click on modules because then you will see every all of the supporting material that goes with um, any assignment that you have. So the assignment itself, right, this is got all the details of what I would like. Basically, it's an opportunity for you to apply all of the stuff that we've been talking about in Media 10 to a piece of media that you identify and find. Um, so you're going to produce a, a PowerPoint presentation, a Google Slides presentation. If you're super ambitious, you can do this as a video if you want. Um, the piece of media that you're going to do can be a scene from a TV show or movie. It could be a, an advertisement. Um, it could be a video advertisement, a print advertisement, uh, an ad in a magazine, a character from a video game, etc. We want to keep it very specific. So not super, not a super, you can't do like a whole movie and analyze a whole movie. That doesn't let you go into the kind of detail that I'm looking for. I want a specific character or a specific scene, right, etc. Not a whole big thing because I want you to really go deep. I recommend that you send me a Canvas message or email um, about what the what the artifact is that you're thinking of doing, because that way you can hear back from me. Yes, like that's a great idea, or have you thought about this, et cetera? Because I really want you to maximize your grade on this. Um, you are going to be using SMC library sources um for this assignment right the databases they have both um, academic journal articles that are great and also magazine or newspaper articles are also fine for this assignment um and the sources that you find they don't necessarily have to talk about your specific character from a specific video game um if you could find that that's awesome but it could just be about issues raised by your character so like if i was doing laura croft from tomb raider i could talk about sexual objectification in video games right and it wouldn't have to be just about that character it could be about other characters too um and you're not allowed to use wikipedia or quote from wikipedia for the project if you go to a wikipedia page you see at the bottom they have some deeper sources listed you can click on those sources and see if they're okay. But I definitely want you to use the SMC library for this assignment. And if you don't know how to find sources, um, you know they have the Ask a Librarian chat that you can do through the SMC library. You have the option of doing this as a group project. If you choose to do a group project, you are gonna let me know uh, who are the group members so everyone can get credit. And I want everyone uh, who's in the group to also, I wanna know like how they contributed, what parts they contributed, et cetera. Um, Cause uh, if they're gonna get the credit, I wanna make sure that they did some of the work. So let me go ahead and show you what else is in this module, right? So that you know what resources you have here already. All right, so we, and I'm sorry that I went that way. All right, so let's take a look. So in addition to the assignment information itself, there's, I put um, some ideas of things that you can say 
about your artifact. You could read it on the surface level and then read it more deeply, right? The the denotatively means like the the description of what it is, but then the 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 deeper level, right? Uh, the the deeper level or the connotative reading is understanding um, more deeply, right? The feeling of whatever it is that you're sharing. So. Um, this gives some things that you could get into in your presentation and then um, you could just click next as you go through the module um, i have a bunch of examples i don't want you to do my examples i want you to find your own examples but this just gives you a sense of things so right this is the historic famous american gothic painting Right, and you can see who they are represented as Americans. And then these are images, right? This is an advertisement for the Fresh Off the Boat TV show, right? Where you see an Asian American family there represented. We have also an artist did a version of this same American Gothic idea, but with um, immigrant parents as the example. So I've put in a lot of different uh, examples of media artifacts. Here's one that we've talked about, right? In some past classes, this is a cover girl ad uh, for, um, and, it, and it replicates one of the stereotypes that Asian American women have to deal with, which is the dragon lady stereotype, right? So these are pieces of material right, that you could analyze more deeply, right? I always think BTS is interesting. Um, they represent different types of masculinity, right? And so that is interesting. I also think they represent progress for Asian representation in media, but they also to me represent white beauty standards and whiteness and how much their skin is whitened in many different ways, whether it's through filters, through makeup, et cetera. So um, I think that that is interesting. Other things in this module, I did a PowerPoint presentation um, that just, if you wanted just to make, it tells you what to put on each slide. So you can go through here right and it tells you like on this slide you can put this on this next slide you can put that right and so it's just a helpful like how would i describe it it's a helpful format or tool to use as you're putting together your presentation it gives you an idea of what types of things that i'm expecting right and so everybody would have their presentation if you're you if you're quoting i hope you do quote your expert sources remember you always want to put quotation marks around anything that is not your own words and you want to put the source right there right according to and then you name the source um so this is where you're quoting some of those people so i have that information <laughs> apologize for the phone call in the middle of my video and then in the end right you have your conclusion and then you have your work cited page my local school is calling All right and then for groups group projects only you're going to have um the you're going to list right so if you're just doing this as an individual project you don't need this last page but if it's a group project and one person from the group is turning in the project for everyone, you do need this last page where you have the name of each person, right, first and last name, and then what they contributed to the project. And that's how I'll know um, who gets the credit for the project. And as I go through, right, I have that as a PowerPoint version and then I have it as a PDF version. Other things that I have in this module, I have a few more examples, right? Just for you to see 
right? So I thought that this advertising campaign was interesting. You can look at everything from um, gender, the way that gender is portrayed. You can look at the power relationships, like who's portrayed as having the power in the photo, et cetera. I thought this was an interesting photo for that same reason, right? You could look at class issues, right? So some of these luxury brands, um, luxury brand advertisements, right? Or catalogs, right? This is from a holiday catalog. Here you have one man with two women, one on each arm, right? He's clearly in charge, right? He's got his arm around both these ladies. You could look at how people are dressed. You could look at how people are portrayed. This, this ad that I put up here um, is interesting. I think you will find more luxury product ads now targeting um, Asian and Asian American consumers. But looking at, um, are they trying to demonstrate the power, for instance, of Asian women, et cetera. So just things for you to think about as you're looking at all these different artifacts. This was an interesting, um, article too that I wanted to include in this section because on the one hand if you watch the video that's related to it on the one hand it really represents say progress for Latinos but on the other hand it extremely sexually objectifies um, Latinas not this picture right which definitely doesn't do that but the video itself uh, you will see women perched on cars and stuff like that so it's just kind of an interesting um, phenomenon. So that's why I included it in this um, section. All right. I think that that may be, right, talked about character from Seoul. Uh, one thing that I thought was interesting is that now a lot of these um, uh, animated movies have like cultural experts or cultural advisors who are advising on the projects. So I hope that this was helpful as far as letting you know what I would like to see on your project and how to um, maximize your grade. Uh, if you see behind me, this is a Lego set that my son put together uh, after we went to Legoland. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm always open to questions. Feel free to do your project early if you want to be done for the semester. Hopefully I will be able to grade your project quickly and you'll know how you're doing in the class. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.